Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about a property that joins evenness and perfect squares. Okay. On this video, the first question that we want to answer is what is going to be the square of an even number? As you may imagine, it is going to be an even number. Also, we are going to answer what is the square of an odd number? You may also imagine that it is going to be an odd number. You can try out examples, but also there is going to be a proof on this video. Moreover, you could ask, what happens if I have an even perfect square? Well, the root is going to be even. And you may also ask, eh, what happens if I have an odd perfect square? Well, the root is going to be odd. Eh, and also you can try examples about this. And also there is going to be a proof on this video about this. Uh, we are going to start with the first statement, that is, what is the square of an even number? What is the square of an odd number? You can try this on your own. You can pause the, you can pause the video and you can leave me the solution, the proof on the comments. So uh, we are going to start with the first case. Uh, let A be an even number because it is even. We can say that A equals 2 times M. Uh, M is going to be a number that exists. This is something that has already been done in a couple of videos on this channel. Uh, we go and say A squared equals A times A. This is the definition of a square. We can use that A equals 2M. So we have that A squared equals 2M times 2M. We can use the associative property of multiplication and take a 2 as an outermost product. And we have that a squared is the double of a quantity, that quantity being m times 2m. And that is it. We know that a squared is an even number. Uh, we can have an alternative. Uh, a squared is a times a, and we know that a is an even number. So by a previous video, we know that even times even is even. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, there is going to be a link in the description. But this would already make a, a square even, so that is it. We can go for the second case. Uh, on the second case, we want to check for the square of an odd number. So let a be an odd number, and we go directly as a square. So a square is going to be a times a. But now, again, by a previous video, and actually the same video, we know that an odd number times an odd number is odd. And so, this already implies that a squared is odd. That would be it for this, this case. So we are uh, feeling confident this has been quick. So that would make it for the first part of the video. Now we go for the second statement. An even perfect square has an even root and an odd perfect square has an odd root. Uh, I leave it down uh, smaller in the corner. Uh, give it a try. Uh, uh, you can post the video at this moment. Uh, you can write your solution, your proof on the comments. And OK, right now I'm going to continue. Uh, this may be another approach that you may like. Now, in order to continue, I would like to interpret a little bit what is going on uh, uh, because we really do not have something to work. Start. So uh, just going for an even perfect square has an even root that can be shaped into an if statement. We want to start with an if. So okay, if a number is an even perfect square, I'm going to write all of that. Uh, I know it's a lot of words, but it's just for the beginning. And we want to have later on that the root is even. So then it has an even root. And we do the same for the second part of the statement, an odd perfect square it has an odd root. So we turn it into an if statement. If a number is an odd perfect square, then it has an odd root. And now, as I said, this is a lot of words. We do not want to work with all of this. That is why a couple of these words are on gray, because we can convert that into notation. And here is where a mathematical notation comes in handy. So uh, pretty much we are going to have if a square, uh, which pretty much a square is going to be our perfect square. Then uh, 
Well, if a squared is even, then a is even. This is what we want. Also, if a squared is odd, we want to prove that a is odd. A, a shorting this out, uh, we pretty much start from this statement too. To if a squared is even, then a is even, and if a squared is odd, then a is odd. Uh, you can again try this if you want. Keep in mind that if you prove this second style of, that we have, that is completely the same as the statement with which we started. Uh, we just change a little bit the words that were being used in order to see uh, more precisely and in some way with symbols what is that we want. So uh, feel free to pause the video at, the, at this moment, give it a second try. Uh, but now I'm going to be continuing with the proof. The main idea that I would propose at this point is to use the law of contraposition. Uh, for that, we need uh, the contraposition of the statements that we got on the last part. Uh, I start with if a squared is even, then a is even. So uh, we <laughs> interchange the statements after the e and after the n, and we negate them. As you can see from the arrows, they get interchanged and we get the not. That is important. We do both of the things. We get the not and we interchange. Now we have if a is not even, then a squared is not even. And we do the same for the second case. If a is not up, then a squared is not up. These are the contrapositives of the former statements. And as I said, yeah, that's just interchanging what is after the if and after the end and after the then, and we negate, we put the not. And the law of contraposition says that we can go back and forth uh, between contrapositives. That's just the same. Uh, as I said, uh, there are going to be videos of logic coming soon, but at this point, you can check this out on the internet, or if there are already videos of logic in the channel, you can check that out. There is going to probably at that time going to be a link in the description. And now let's see, we can take out words in this case and not even is off. That's just a very complicated way of saying off. And not off is even. Or in other words, even is not off and off is not even. So we can just uh, turn the first statement into if a is odd, then a squared is odd. And also we have that if a is even, then a squared is even. And as I said, uh, we can go back and forth between all these statements. Uh, we are pretty much just changing the wording of the statement of the statements two with which we started. Uh, we have done uh, we have done really nothing. It's just the same as we start. However, an important thing to notice is that the statements with which we have ended are the same from the first part of the video. They are just in the if then form, if you want to call it a, a way. Because the first part says that if A is off, then its square is off. And if a is even, then its square is even. And that's pretty much what we proved on the first statement. So we know that these are true. And because these are true, and we can go back and forth between all of these statements, thanks to the contraposition rule, and thanks to the fact that we have just been changing words, everything is true. And that's the nice part about logic. So we already have that an even perfect square has an even root and an odd perfect square has an odd root. Uh, just for you to know, uh, the style of the proof that was done for this second part in of the video, it is called an indirect way. So you can check that in other videos on the internet or if there is already a link in the description for uh, indirect proofs, you can check that out. Uh, let me know if you like the video. Uh, you can leave me questions. You can leave me comments. Uh, if you want me to 
uh, take another topic in which you are interested and let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.